All right, so in this chapter, we're going to play some more with some of the materials. So I'm noticing that the meshes that I've got here, these pillars, uh, are really getting lost because they've got a very similar material to the ceiling. So what I will do is uh, use this other, this floor water mesh paint instance. Okay, so when we uh, apply this, um, now we'll really have kind of uh, some differentiation between the ceiling and the uh, the pillars. So let me go into unlit mode, and uh, again, it's pretty difficult to see. Um, so let me just get these assigned. All right, and I also want to assign it here. So as long as it's the last thing that we have selected in the content browser, I can just hit the arrow button here. Once I select the mesh, hit the uh, arrow button next to there. And these guys. All right, let's do these uh, as well. So I'm just going to go through and kind of by hand uh, control shift. You know what? Let's go into side view and let's do it like that. So uh, let's type in floor. We'll hit enter and then I can right click on any of these. I can say visibility show only selected. Um, okay, still quite difficult to see, but you know what? Here in the side view, this is what we want. Okay, so we're in the side view. Um, let's grab all of these guys, I think these, and then I will with Control and Alt, I'll deselect those, and I'm pretty sure that got all the ones that we wanted. Yes, okay, that looks good. I'm going to just add in these ones over here, which are those overlap. And then these are for the uh, staircase there. All right, perfect. Let's uh, hit the display material. And it's this gray material that we want to be updated with, uh, with that material there. OK, now we can hit Control uh, H to unhide. And we go back into lit mode. OK, so I think this is looking a lot better. Um, I like the, again, the differentiation between these two. Uh, I could hit build lighting because we're getting uh, this uh, you know black shadow here. Uh, so let's see what the light build uh, can get us. And then let's move on to adding some more material. So I'm going to add something like this. Uh, this is called concrete beam brick wall two by one. Um, or we could look at something different. But let's do this. So let's export this. Don't mind that warning. And uh, two things are happening right now that I want to fix. The scene is a little dark at the moment. So we could brighten it up a little bit. So in my post process volume, I'll simply come into the exposure settings and maybe bring up that exposure to the five. It's 
a little bit better, but something else I really want to light right here. So I'm going to take this and this, and I'm going to alt drag and we'll get a light there. Okay, and we'll do the same. Here. These should give us some nice shadows. We can go ahead and build again. But the other thing I want to take care of is this green highlight. So what's happening is this material is kind of set to be metallic and that's giving us a colored highlight. And that uh, really is kind of distracting me. So I'm going to take this metallic map override and I'm going to bring this down to zero. And we'll see that that should Should get rid of it, but it's not. So yeah, it's got this half metal value in it, meaning it's got this 50% gray. Metallic map override. Gonna take a look at the parent of the master real quick and look at the metallic slot. Metallic adjustments. Let's open up this. Metallic. So we have the meta metallic input. App override. Okay, not really sure. Um, still looks metallic to me. Okay, that's definitely metallic. All right, so metallic overrides, let's set it to one. Base metallic, let's set that to zero. Metallic intensity. Okay, I think the thing is, is that this is just green now. And I think that we've got this figured out. So let's close that. And I'll put a white light here that is incredibly blown out. Okay, so I think I need to brighten up our lights. So let's type in rect, hit enter. Uh, I'm going to set these back to eight, which is the default. Okay. And I'm going to go back into my post process volume and I'm going to turn down my uh, exposure compensation. And let's just do a quick build and see, uh, make sure that we get a similar lighting. Okay, cool. I think this is looking pretty good. Um, 
I'm going to move these closer to the wall. Uh, let's put them in the center of the two pillars. Make sure I've got all my meshes and my... All right, so I'm going to line these up so they're in the center. And again, those aren't exactly in the center uh, because those meshes are a bit off. But what I'm trying to do is get some more light on the wall over there. And I think we've achieved that. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with these. And these ones here are already in the center. Uh, looks like I missed these. So let's go and fix that now. All right, and I think I'm liking this lighting uh, much more. Uh, I'm sure that these also <laughs> are misaligned. But we'll get to lighting those uh, a little bit later. OK, so let's get that new material on this uh, wall back here. So here it is. Here's the material. And uh, if we notice, it's uh, a little squished. And that's because these textures, if we saw earlier in bridge, it said two by one, meaning the ratio is two in the width by one in the height. Um, so we're going to compensate uh, for this a little bit with some of the scaling. But let's go ahead and isolate the wall. So to do that, I've got the wall selected here. I'm going to go into my orthographic views and I believe it's this one here. Uh, so let's do the same thing. Let's isolate our walls, make it easy. So we'll hit wall. That doesn't look to be a wall. What's going on? Floor, that was a floor. Okay, uh, so let's type in floor. Right click, visibility, show only selected. Uh, we are in the this side here. So I can drag select over there, and then I'll have to control alt deselect that. And with, uh, yeah, we can just drag and drop this material in and we'll swap all of those out. Now, one thing is the, my floor meshes were actually rotated here, uh, 90 degrees, it looks like. So try getting zero there and that all just messes up kind of what I thought would happen but I think if there's an easy way to do this I don't think there really is an easy way to do this besides just grabbing them and rotating them and kind of replacing them. So I think that's just what I'm going to do.
Okay, not so bad. Now I can really just take these and replace them. Uh, I'll hit Control Alt and drag select. Delete. Then with Control Alt, drag select. I'll drag up once, twice, and three times. All right. Hit Control H to show. And now we'll adjust the material. So let's open up the material. And I'm actually going to create my own material for this. Uh, in the next chapter.